In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to split transactions in QuickBooks Online. This process is incredibly useful for managing your finances accurately, especially if you deal with multiple categories under a single transaction. Let's dive right in. First, let's ensure you're logged into QuickBooks Online. If you're not already there, go ahead and click on Sign In. Once you're at the login page, choose QuickBooks Online from the list of options. This platform is tailored for business accounting, making it a powerful tool for both small and large enterprises. Now you'll need to type in your credentials. Enter your username and password carefully and then click continue. Make sure your credentials are correct to avoid any login hassles. It's a good practice to use a password manager for secure and easy access. Once logged in, look for the transactions tab at the top of the page. Clicking on it will bring you to a section where you can manage various transactions transactions related to your accounts. From here select bank transactions. This section will provide you with a detailed view of your recent transactions, allowing you to closely monitor your financial situation. It's essential to regularly update and check these transactions to catch any discrepancies early on. Next, you'll want to select the transaction you wish to split. This step is crucial, so take your time to scan through the list and find the right entry. With the transaction selected, now it's time to create a rule. The create a rule option helps automate your financial processes, saving you both time and effort. Automated rules can be quite powerful, especially if you have recurring expenses that need regular splitting. After creating your rule, you'll see the option to add a split. Click on this to open a new dialog box. Here, you can specify the details of how you'd like to divide the transaction. It helps if you have your receipts or a list of categories handy for reference. Take a moment to determine the appropriate categories and amounts for each split to ensure everything balances correctly. Once you've added your split ruling, review the details to confirm everything is accurate. This step is vital as it prevents future errors in your bookkeeping. When you're satisfied with your entries, click on Save. QuickBooks will apply these changes, organizing your transactions into the specified categories. This feature not only keeps your records clean, but also provides a clearer picture of your spending patterns. And there you have it, you've successfully split a transaction in QuickBooks Online. Remember, regular transaction reviews and updates can significantly improve your business or personal bookkeeping, giving you more freedom to focus on what truly matters. Thanks for joining me in this tutorial, and happy bookkeeping!